the veil in the temple was kind of a separation of man and God. And this veil represented like the sin that separated man and God. Because before Jesus died for our sins, there was no way for man and God to be united because there was always that sin that separated them. Well, when Jesus died for our sins, that's, that was separated, okay? Or that the sin was abolished and it broke. So that's kind of what, when the veil ripped. That's kind of the same thing that's happening here. And you want to kind of explain, Joseph, you, or who got the, uh, the Ten Commandments? Was that you, Joseph? Yeah. Okay, why did you say it was symbolizing the Ten Commandments? Because it was... I don't know why. I just thought of the the stone tablets breaking. Yeah, so basically, the stone table is is a tablet of with rules written on it, right? Rules that you have to follow no matter what. Well, it's the same as the Ten Commandments with Moses. He wrote the Ten Commandments on these stones. They're set in stone. He had to do it. If you broke these rules, then you could no longer, you know, be with God or whatever. So. This represents, when it when broke, that kind of just represents the Old Testament kind of going out the window and kind of a resurgence into the New Testament, okay? Anyone have any question about the stone, the stone tablet table and a couple of things it might symbolize? No. Perfect. Do we have... All right. More examples. Okay. I'm getting this off, tipping your chair. Because that was the first time I felt. Jesus. Yes, it was. 